Hi, and welcome back to the Kids Workshop. I started this with out recording, so that was bad, my bad. So I was more concentrated on what we should do than. But uh, last time we um, was working on this one, and this is kind of sanded now and ready to glue together with this one. So you can see we get a whole fishing whistle here. And next time we are on, we I will have this glued. Oops. And and we can go on from there. And then I need to make something it can stand on. But I still need to cover that hole, or otherwise it will sink. Not that it's ever gonna go in the water, but uh, I just glue this one on, and now I have to get on with the next one. I will see if I. I will try with the whole one. I need to have it to meet here and at the bottom, but uh, sooner or later I will just put a stick over here and then you'll see how, what we need to make to get it the last piece. Got it. So, and then, but you can see now I have to wait for this to dry a little so I can remove this to put the next on there. So, that is often why it's so time consuming. It's not just to hammer a lot of sticks down the side. The reason I make this is because then I know this will reach out there, so I put first needle in there and this will go so we cut it. later we will get it closed. Not that you can't do it, because you can if you want, but it's 
shall we say, kids, uh, shall we say, 10 and up, 10 years and upwards, this one. I know I did it in that age. I even think it was a uh, fishing vessel. But I don't really remember how it went. But I, I get one build. I'm sure of that. Um, but I think it was more a competition. My m brother built a racing boat, and he ended up being a carpenter. So, but I thought when he can, I can too. So, but he was. I forgot he was a little older than me, but what does that matter? But when I called the show for a kids' workshop, I don't mean it like Disney's uh, with a toilet roll and a glue gun pistol. There's enough. There's enough of, enough of stuff to the small kids, children, I think. What? Uh, need to be something to the little bit uh, bigger children. Oh, I forgot this one. And when I was a kid, I f felt it was fun to make stuff like this. But I know that was before Minecraft and... and computer games, but... I would probably have played them as you do in that age. But I also think this is it's worth doing. I built electronic wise, I built crystal radios and stuff like that. And a little later on, I built artificial stereo circuits to my speakers because there wasn't stereo at that time. So, and antenna amplifiers because. That was when, when all of it went through the air. And here in my country, we only had one channel. So, and that was v, VHF, uh, uh, the wave length. And uh, Germany, they sent UHF. So when you build and US UHF reads longer. So if you made a good antenna amplifier, you could you could receive the signals with a UF UHF antenna. High enough and good enough. And 
It was in the electronics childhood. Huh? It will not turn around. down there. Sorry. Uh -huh. Put one of these on. It kind of, they get bent in all directions now. But it was exciting times when all of this we have today started. And I have been with all the way. Because I've always been really curious on how stuff works. We get them down there. Yeah. I'm just looking at the time, so we give it a little more time today because of my fault. Now we have a problem because it goes like this. So it's difficult to get anything to hold it. No, it worked. Okay, not that long. Because if I put a needle, ah, if I put a needle in here, it kind of breaks, splits. But I do it anyhow. Take another one. Yes. I have to. Not because I want, but I has, and the same I will do here because now this is up again. because you bend it kind of both ways. And it is after all wood. So, and remove the worst. And yes, I was just looking if the mic was working, and it is. We haven't had that problem since I bought this lapel mic. So, go away. Uh, should we put something here so that, how did we do it here? Oh, I 
should I just let us see what the stick says. Can yes. Yes. It's difficult. There's a needle in here. This is where we are gonna end up. So we need something more of this. Do we have a long one? of the spares. Yep, 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 yep. Take it easy. I need to change the sandpaper.
Let's see how that would work. Come on. I think that will work. Fine. Stop the noise. Like this. So, let us try. See how it works. Yes. It will be fine. Go away. And then we take a little needle. Ah. So. And some group. So, and the upper side. Something in it that we don't need. Yeah. All those needles. But the hole is the tip most difficult part of this build. The, the rest will be much oops will be much easier. Come on, don't do this to me. The biggest work and the uh, toughest one, but take your time and you will get there. Uh, 
and do never ever let the the bills like this end up in the room closet. I guarantee you there stands thousand of these around half finished in broom closets around the world. But that would be a shame. If you follow along here, I promise you, and you do your best, and you will end up with a fine boat. Sorry if I crawl out of the picture, but I need to get this here. There was no head on. Sometime when you draw them out again, then, or drag them out again, then the head will get off. The plan was that today I would have been out buying some more of these, but I didn't have the time. Trying to make do with what I had. So that we could get finished. Hey, that's fine. I cannot get sanding on it anyhow today, so it don't matter that much. It has to dry first, and then I had to I have to put filler on it, and then that has to dry. There's a lot of drying to do. Okay, up there. Get a new stick. See how where we end this time. Yeah. This and one stick more, and then some sticks to kind of even out in the end of it. I did that 
in that one too. Can you see? We can only get one more in here. Then the hole are closed. And then we need to play Rod Stewart's We Are Sailing or what. <laughs> I guess you don't know even who that old guy is. Whoops. Now that is gone. Forever. Old shaky hands. By the way, they have all been, always been shaky, even when I was 20. So I don't know why, but they were. fingers. When I loosen this, will it then say go haywire? Or what? We should start putting some glue on here. A kind of Eyes, freeze, no, it will last. Freeze, not build me. Sometimes I cannot say the words. before you start laughing and I will just ask you how good are you to the English? Right? So shall we try close our eyes and say booty it stayed there. And down between all the 
his needles. little longer over ah. so I'll go see if I pr prick myself in the stomach <coughs> Don't do that. I'm working here. And another one. We are getting there. Oops, we haven't put glue down here. We absolutely have now. Even way, way too much. But we don't care. Kitchen paper, towel, are you calling it? Sorry. And we'll put this on. Whoop and, uh, One more knee. Oops. That was kind of bent. So. Put this one in here. out the side the ribs and not into it. But as you see in the first episode we only had the drawing and some pieces of wood. Uh, uh. And now, we kind of getting close to have a boat. Isn't that right? Getting closer and closer. And 
for next Tuesday. It is exactly as fine as this one. And this looks very nice. And then we, I have glued them together and then we need to have some, what was that part over here? Uh, not that one. You can see this one is a part not that side, it's a part the side. The rail on the side here and and then we have to put put list on the deck. These fine list here deck planks or what we should call them. So then we hide the, the, the crack in the middle there. And, okay, we also have two, you can see these two, the stand for the boat, we have to, I will fix, and we have to, to give them some this one is lacquer, and this one is colored lacquer, like uh, chestnut. No, this is plank, this is colored like chestnut. So, for the stand and for the rail, and the other stuff on the boat, you uh, see, I think the mast are kind of that color too, if I do so. We don't have to shine the mast on that colors and there's some stuff on that rail there and there's uh, uh, yeah there's a rail and there's a stand down under there so and something in the door also but we will make it really nice. But I think we will stop for today because I need to have this to dry and then I put the latest last one on. Oh, and one thing more we need. You can see the hindsight of this one is kind of, and there is no hindsight. There's no butt on it. So let's see. Where is it? Here is it. It's because I've I saved the stuff in here so I don't get it dirty. No. See, this is a balsa. Uh, And then I cut these off and then I put this on and then I shape it so it fits there. So, but then uh, the hole should be finished. Oops, I hit the camera. Don't get seasick. Seasick. So, no, but I will stop for today and uh, hope I'll see you uh, next uh, Tuesday then we will have this put together and I have sanded the stuff and put this on so we can get on with it. So thank you for watching and bye bye.